What should I whip up today? That is a great idea! Mm -hmm. Delicious! Thank you, Lindley. Is Lindley cooking something else now? Tatsu can't possibly eat any more corn. Don't worry, this is something new. One of Earth's great delicacies, foie gras. Foie gras? Foie gras sounds delicious. Maybe Tatsu try some when Linley finished cooking. Can Tatsu help? Actually, you can. In fact, I can't make it without you. Oh, really? I just need one little favor. Of course. Tatsu is at your disposal. What can Tatsu provide for Chef Linley? Your liver. Tatsu is here to serve, not be served, Linley. Oh, just remembered. I have goose liver. Linley did that on purpose. Linley is vicious and nasty. All right, everyone. Dig in. Man, oh man. Delicious. Lucky thing I happen to be in the neighborhood. You say that every time, Commander, but you always arrive as we're setting the table. Oh? You don't say. <sighs> All right, listen up. We found something in Noctilum thanks to Frontier Nav. That's northwest of here, Rook. Looks like a piece of the life hold. That's great news. Damn right. Look at this. Friends mean nightglow woods. Is that what the Nopon call it? We didn't have names for anything here, so we've been using Noctilum for that whole region. <laughs> well, that's a silly name. And nightglow woods isn't? Ahem. <clears throat> Moving on. Right, sorry. According to the Pathfinder's report, there's a large number of indigents in the area, but thankfully no sign of any intelligent life forms. No, no, that's wrong. Nobon visit Nightglow Woods all the time. Yeah, well, like I said, no intelligent life forms have been reported, but it never hurts to be cautious. Mm, friends patronize Tatsu. Nopon proud and brave people with rich history, you know. Pipe down, small fry, or I'll make that nickname come true. <laughs> we'll have you check in with Lao's team first. They're already on assignment installing probes in the area. We don't have a fix on the life old signal, just a general direction. See if they've got more info. Got it. Hey, hey. Look who it is. Lau, it's been a while. It has. Are you going to introduce me to your friends? Where's Danny and Boris? These are my new team members. As for Danny and Boris, we had a bad run-in with a powerful indigen. They didn't make it. I see. Hey, look. I'm sorry. 
I hadn't heard. It's okay. And what's up with this onion thing? You using it for rations or something? Tatsu not onion or ration. Tatsu is no pun. Brave and distinguished people with long history on Mira. <laughs> it talks. Where'd you find this thing? Rescued him. He was about to become lunch for some prone, these hostile Xenos we ran into. He's agreed to serve as our guide here. Wow. Okay. And you? What's your story? Are you really as young as you look? Sure am. Thirteen years old inside and out. I'm Lin Lee Koo. Well, hello, Lin Lee Koo. You must be something to be able to make Elma's team at thirteen. All right. What about you? <laughs> Aren't we the friendly one? Well, whatever. We've got an interesting crew here. But they seem capable enough. I chose them personally. I figured. So, I heard Nelson's whole team got wiped out by some nasty new Xenos. Is that true? Yeah, those prone I mentioned. We're not sure if they're the ones that destroyed Earth, but their tech certainly seemed advanced enough. Really? We better watch our backs. By the way, we picked up a lifehold signal in the direction of Noctilum. Have you or your crew come across anything? Where? Around here? I take it the answer is no. Yeah, this is the first I've heard of it. We bumped into another team, and they didn't mention it either. I see. All right. We were hoping your team might have a lead or some more info, but no such luck, huh? Well, thanks anyway. We should go. Hey, hold up, hold up. Mind if I tag along? But your assignment... We're more or less done here. We just need to report back. Well, until you do, you're not done here. Oh, give me a break, Elma. The rest of my crew can handle the paperwork. We're talking about a piece of the life hold here. I've never even seen one. That's way more important. And besides, you might need the help. Finding it or handling the indigents that get in your way. Now, come on. to be like this. Let us walk away. Archie's 
Lifehold piece should be further ahead. Friends will climb big rocky mountain? B but how? Tatsu has tiny feet, stubby, flimsy limbs. No spine either. But the turnip does have a point. I don't think there's any way we could scale those cliffs. Agreed. We'll need to take a detour. Let's try going around that way.
First grenade! Game and set. The strike it acts from experience. That's true on any plan. Ready? Nice. We should this is bad. Shadow strike! It's sure to work now! Melee attack. 
staggering! Grenade. 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 First Grenade. grenade breaker! We're in a good Shadow position. Strike. Move in! Arcing hold! Infuriant! Sight Put some power into this. Victory is ours. Okay, then. Friends, hold up. Something coming ahead. and kill the fox. We would never associate with those savages. Who are you? Ah, yes, a thousand pardons. We are called El Suru, or just El, if it please you. Like the proud Nopon among you, we have inhabited this planet since times of antiquity. A friend knows about the Nopon people? Yes, yes, of course. Nopon purchase my wares quite often, you know. They're excellent, how should I say, suckers? Uh, I think you mean customers. So, Mr. L, you've lived here a long time? Just L, and yes, such a nice, quiet world. The wildlife and insects are also docile, such gentle dispositions. Tatsu here to protect them from becoming main course. Yeah, because we can toss you out as an appetizer and run away while they're snacking. <laughs> well, the creatures here are hungry, yes, granted. Gentle disposition, my butt. It's just... Hmm. What? Well, who can blame them with all the commotion here as of late? Not that we're pointing our fingers at you, mind. No one's those prone sons of bastards. Yeah, we're not their biggest fans either. We loathe them. They have ruined our once peaceful life here. Ruined! They are all, how should we say, ass caves. Close enough. By the way, El, you seem to speak our language quite fluently. Well, yeah, most of the time. We owe it all to that wreckage back there. What a treasure trove. Especially the data terminal we found inside. It is the ultimate portable snack for satisfying our insatiable curiosity. Package back there? You think that's our piece of the life hold? Certainly sounds like it. El, can we take a look at this terminal you found? Of course, of course. Thanks. Lynn, see what you can make of it. On it. Okay. Yep. This is library data. Let me see. Huh, so it is. The unit L stumbled upon must be part of the Lifeboat's archives. So, not the core then. The entire ship was torn to bits when we came down. The odds of any single piece of Lifehold being the core aren't very high. Yeah, I guess not. Now, now, Lynn, don't be glum. The Lifehold Archives are the sum total of all human knowledge. This is still a really big find. We should try and secure it ASAP. Yeah, you're right. No, might not be a good time. Why not? Why else? The Ass Caves. We just came from there and thrown are all over the wreckage. What? Uh-oh. This is bad. Very bad. Let's go. Apologies, we didn't mention it before. We assumed you abandoned it. Allow us to show you the way. After all, as you say, too many heads are better than none, right? Uh, close enough. I can't let this new strength distract me.
I don't think they'll let us walk away. Rhythm down from the distance. Spark fire 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 Going in. Nice. Let's do this fast. Ask questions later. Fire! 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 Fire!
what you call yourselves indeed humanity is a blight a great cancer festering on the cosmos our job is to eradicate it humanity is here in peace what gives you the right to destroy the life force? is that what you call it so pretty your language your technology and yet, so dangerous, you must be purged. This is our calling as Ganglia, the cause of the righteous. Then you'll forgive us for defending ourselves against your righteous cause. <laughs> well, this should at least be more entertaining than stamping out the lives of your sleeping friends. Blade! 
Cannot escape us on this planet or any other. Sooner or later, your kind will be cleansed. Mr. Scalinia, now quickly. Fought victory indeed. Such a shame it cannot bring back that which was lost to you. But this is spilled milk over the dam now. I just don't get it. What do they have against humans? I'm not sure how they wound up on Mira. But you saw them, Link. That is definitely them. Who? The aliens that destroyed Earth. The Ganglion were among them. What? It wasn't just them. They were definitely one of the forces involved in that battle. I'm absolutely positive now. That scale-like mech we just saw? Check it against the NLA records and I'm pretty sure it'll come back with a perfect match. <sighs> anyway, we really appreciate all your help here, El. But we need to be heading back now. Not at all. We only wish we could have done more. I wish we could compensate you somehow, but honestly, there's nothing left for us to give. Compensate you, sir? Hmm. How about allowing us to accompany you back to your city? You want to come back to New L.A.? Why exactly? Well, treasure trove was destroyed. Without the archives, we're afraid our thirst for knowledge cannot be quenched. But an entire Earth city to explore? Such an experience would provide compensation beyond compare. The thought makes us tingle. Okay. Hmm. What do you think, Rook? Yeah. We're not like the gangman, after all. We want to live in harmony with all the other species here. Then it's settled. Excellent. Let's be off. The early worm is for the birds. Right, let's start heading back. We should report to the commander at once. Hmm? Either you picked up another Xeno, or someone's been holding their breath too long. This is El. We met in Noctilla. We are El Siruf, if it please you. This planet has been our home since days of yore. Oh, a long-time resident? That's why we brought him back. His knowledge could prove invaluable. I'd like to request permission for him to stay in New L.A. We can't allow just anyone to waltz into our city on a whim. How much do we know about him? I know enough. Enough to say that we can trust him. All Mira natives are good, honest folk. Yes, Tatsu, yes. Anyway, Elma, you do seem quite sure of yourself. All right. I'll share the responsibility. He can stay. If that's acceptable, Mr. Director General. If you're both certain, so be it. Many thanks, good sirs. Truly, we are walking on the ninth cloud of seventh heaven. Please call us El. The rest is far too formal. And honestly, we prefer L anyway. More importantly, Colonel, what happened with the Lifehold unit? I see. So it wasn't the Corps after all. No. We confirmed it was one of the Archive units. Unit number 07. 07? That would be the LC repository, wouldn't it? One of three, but yes. 
The entirety of the Library of Congress archives. As I recall, the data was stored on units 07 through 09. Well, thank God it wasn't the core. This situation could have been a lot worse. I wonder. Hmm? The LC archives contained nearly every published work in mankind's history. It's not like it's just a bunch of random books and manuscripts, you know. It's a history of human thought, a record of opinions and emotions. I mean, yeah, sure, but... So if you stop and consider what it means to lose even a third of that data, it's a cultural and historical loss of catastrophic proportions. <clears throat> we do have parity data for the archives here. We know which unit was lost, so hopefully we can find some way to restore it. Let's hope so. Moving on. These ganglion. You're certain they were involved in the destruction of Earth? Here. See for yourself. The left shot is from a battle over Beijing. The right, from our encounter. Son of a... Is it possible this is their native planet? Tatsu told us they aren't from here. And L confirmed it. They're recent arrivals. Very recent. So, either it's one hell of a coincidence, or they followed us. Considering they appear to be systematically targeting the lifehold, I'd say that leaves no question they followed us here. Could they possibly know the purpose of the lifehold? Maybe the whole reason we haven't found the core yet is because those scumbags already trashed it. If so, none of us would be here talking in the first place, would we? Uh, you got a point there. This information doesn't leave this room. But we've had several recent Pathfinder reports of Xeno sightings and contact. They may or may not be ganglion. But regardless, I propose we double down on our defenses going forward. That'll be all, Elma. Please continue hunting for any signs of the life. Yes, sir. Remember, the clock is always ticking. We have to find that unit before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> 